Hi guys, I hope you are all doing well. Let's see today's question. So today's question, we are taking this up from the topic of differentiation. And if I talk about the question which is given to us here from this topic, the question tells us that a function y of x is equal to x raised to x, the whole raised to x, where we have been told x is positive and we have been asked to find the value of the expression that is d2x by dy square plus 20. So we have to find the value of this entire expression at x equals to 1. So we have to find that. And if I talk about the answer choices that are given to us here, they are 16, 24, 25, and the last option given to us is 36. So we need to figure out which one of the answer choices is the correct answer for the question given to us. So let's figure out that. Now, before starting off with the question, first of all, if I see y of x, it was given to us as x raised to x, the whole raised to x. So if I use this idea to first of all find dy by dx, so what I can do here is I can write that as y at x it is equal to x raised to x, the whole raised to x so that I can use that as the power of exponents that is x raised to a, the whole raised to b. I can write that as a into b. So same ways if I write this also, I can write that entirely as x raised to x, the whole raised to x is x raised to x into x, which makes it x raised to x squared. Now, once I have this, I have this as y of x. So I can write that as y. So y is given to us as x raised to x square. Now, once I have y, I take log on both sides. So log of y, it's equal to log of x raised to x square. So log of a raised to b, it is b log a. So once you get that as b log a, I get log y it is equal to x square log x. Now, once I have this, I take the differentiation again with respect to x here. I get one by y dy by dx. It's equal to x square into derivative of log x, which is one by x. You are using the idea of u into v. So u into v's derivative is u into derivative of v plus v that is log x into derivative of u that is x square. So the derivative of x square is 2x. So you get from here, x getting canceled. So you get x plus 2x log x. You take x common, you get one plus two log x. Now I have entirely this idea that makes it, from here if I try to figure out dy by dx is equal to, y I take on the other side, so it becomes x into y and one plus two log x. So you have dy by dx now. So dy by dx, I can write it in the frame as y dash, which is equal to x into y into one plus two log x. So you have that entirely. And let's keep y outside and let's multiply x inside. So it becomes easier for us to differentiate again then. So you get x plus 2x log x. Now, once you have this, I actually need to find the second derivative. So let's first find the second derivative that is y double dash by differentiating it with respect to x. So if I differentiate this with respect to x again, I get y dash is equal to derivative of this function. Again, it's a product rule. So u into v. So you get u, so u and derivative of this entire thing with respect to x plus v. So I'm writing that function as it is and into derivative of y with respect to x. So from here you get y d by dx of this. So let's take the derivative. So derivative of x, we know it as 1 plus 2. Now again, this is the derivative of the product. So you get it as x into derivative of log x, which is 1 by x plus log x into derivative of x, which is 1 plus 
here you get x plus 2x log x into dy by dx, which is nothing but y dash. So from here you get y double dash of x turning out to become y. This and this cancels. So you get 1 plus 2 plus log x. Plus here you get y dash x plus 2x log x. So you get this entire thing. If I further try to evaluate this idea as well, you get y 3 plus log x plus y dash. You have that as x plus 2x log x. So you have your y double dash as well in terms of x and y and y dash. Now let's try to figure out. So we have y of x already with us. That was x raised to x square. We also have y dash of x with us now. That was y into x plus 2x log x. So y of x into x plus 2x log x. And y double dash is also present with us now. And that is y into 3 plus 2 log x. Sorry, 3 plus log x. Or 3 plus 2 log x. So it should be 1 plus 2 plus 2 log x. So yeah, it should be 2 log x. So 3 plus 2 log x plus y dash of x into the other bracket was x plus 2x log x. So you get this entire thing. Now you have y x, y dash of x, y double dash of x. So basically I have been asked to find d2x by dy square at x equals to one. So if I first find out at x equals to one, all those values. So at x equals to one, let's find all those values. So y of x becomes, or I should say y of one becomes now. So you get y of one becoming equal to one raised to one square. So one raised to anything is always one. So you get y of one is one. y dash of one, if I try to figure out, I get y of one into one plus two into one into log one. Log one is zero basically. So y of one is one. So one into one plus zero, which is one y double dash of one that makes it y of one so here you had y of x actually so y of one into three plus two log of one plus y dash of one into one plus two into one into log one so from here you get y of one which is one three plus two log one is zero so you get three plus from here you get y dash of one is one and one plus zero so again you get one so you get y double dash of one equals four now once you have y double dash of one y dash of one and y of one now let's understand what is the question is asking so we have y it's equal to one we have dy by dx equals to one and we have d2y by dx square equals 4. Now we have d2y by dx, but the question is not asking us that. Question is asking us to differentiate the x with respect to y two times. So we have got d2y by dx square till now, but we haven't got d2x by dy square. So we need to develop a relation between the two of them. So let's do that first. So if I want to find d2x by dy square let's see how do we do that so i have got d2y by dx square but i need d2x by dy square so if i need this d2x by dy square it is nothing but i am differentiating dx by dy with respect to dy right so if i am differentiating dx by dy with respect to dy 
I get this d2x by dy square, which is the question asked to me. So if I write this again, trying to frame it in terms of x now, I can frame it as one over dy by dx. Now, once I have one over dy by dx, I get, I'm differentiating with respect to y yet, and dy by dx in the denominator, I can write that in the terms of power as dy by dx raised to minus one. Now, once I have that, I get d2x by dy square, which is differentiating with respect to y, and I'm differentiating with respect to y, this entire dy by dx. So if I assume this as let's say x, x raised to minus one's derivative with respect to y, it would become minus one into dy by dx raised to minus two. So I'm using the idea that derivative of x raised to n is n x raised to n. And further you are differentiating you kept this and assume this as x dy by dx and you're differentiating it with respect to y. So you get further the derivative with respect to y for dy by dx because you assume this has to become x. Now, once you get this, let's see how do you do further. So you get minus one. This becomes if I take the positive power becomes dy by dx raised to two. And here, if I make some adjustments now, so dy, which is present in the denominator, if I try to convert it in terms of d2y by dx square, because I want the relation between d2y by dx square and d2x by dy square, right? So to get that, I need to differentiate this entire thing with respect to dx and not dy. So I'll take that dy out and multiply dx on both sides in the numerator and denominator. So what I did was I multiplied both sides by dx in the numerator and denominator and dy which was present already in the denominator, I have taken that in this expression below dx. So you have dy by dx also. Now further, if I differentiate it, I get minus one over dy by dx, the whole square. This dx by dy remains as it is. And the derivative of dy by dx with respect to x now becomes d2y by dx squared. So you have the relation now for this d2x by dy squared and d2y by dx squared. So you have this relation with you now. Now further, if I see it, it becomes d2x by dy squared equals to minus one over dy by dx, the whole square. And this dx by dy also, if I try to frame it in terms of dy by dx, it will become one over dy by dx. And you get your second expression, which is d2y by dx squared, which is required to us to find the relation. So we need to find the relation between the two of them. And now we have got that as minus one over dy by dx, the whole cube into d2y by dx square. So you have this entire relation here. Now, once you have the entire relation here with you, you get, or you can write that because you have to find d2x by dy square in the question. So d2x by dy square in the question that becomes minus one up over dy by dx is nothing but y dash. So y dash of x, the whole cube into d2y by dx squared, which is y double dash of x. So you get this and once you get this d2x by dy square at x equals to one is asked to us. So you get minus one over y dash of one, the whole cube into d2y by dx squared. So differentiating y with respect to x two times. So that is basically y double dash of one. And we already have got both the ideas. So y double dash of one, we have got that as four. And y dash of one, we have got that as one. So you get minus one over one cube into four. And that makes it minus four. So you get the answer for the question. 
that d two x by d y square at x equals to one is minus four. But the question is asking you to find the answer for the expression that is d two x by d y square at x equals to one plus twenty. So if I find that, I know the value for this expression is minus four plus twenty. That makes it sixty. So you get the answer for the question which is asked to us. The value of the expression as sixteen. And that matches with option A. So A becomes a correct answer for the question given to us. I hope you have understood how to solve this type of questions, which deals with the ideas of differentiation. So we just differentiated y with respect to x first. Then we differentiated again the dy by dx, which we got with respect to x again. So you got y double dash as well. Once you had y, y dash, and y double dash, I just put at x equals to one and found the values for three of them. So you get y as one, you got y dash as one, you got y double dash as four. But then the problem was that we needed to find d two x by d y square and not d two y by d x square. So I just found a relation between the two of them and I got the relation for d two x by d y square and d two y by d x square as this. Which was d2x by dy square is minus one over y dash cube into d2y by dx square, and that basically, when I put that at x equals to one, I got the answer for d2x by dy square as minus four. I just added twenty to it to get my expressions value, and that may matches with option A, that is sixty. So A becomes the correct answer for the question given to us here. I'll see you again tomorrow with some other question from some other topic. and we are going to continue our series of questions on jwe mains so stay tuned for more videos to roll out also if you are enjoying this videos that we are doing every day please do like the videos as well and do subscribe to my channel do share this videos with your friends also who are involved in the preparation of questions on jwe so they can also take the benefit from this questions which we are solving on every day basis See you again tomorrow with one other video. Thank you.